It's very nice to have the same platform running on my desktop that I can use to check email and also at the same time connect to the supercomputer, one of the fastest supercomputers in the world. The G5 was a perfect fit for the architectural goals of our system. That's a 64-bit processor with two double precision floating point units, excellent memory bandwidth and an I.O. architecture that allows us to interconnect it into a supercomputer. For the first time, clusters have the capacity to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the fastest custom-designed supercomputers. There's really nothing much you can do different on most of the custom-designed supercomputers that you cannot do on this system, and you cannot do better on this system. Nobody has ever bought Apple technology and put together a large-scale scientific uh, computer before. And, uh, you know, the guys at Virginia Tech uh, were able to assemble quite an impressive uh, system based on 1,100 uh, G5 uh, boxes, 2,200 processors in that uh, configuration, uh, reaching uh, uh, in excess of uh, 10 teraflops worth of uh, actual achieved uh, performance. The machines and the network interface cards that went into them arrived in early September. And that was uh, less than three weeks that the whole thing was built and put up. InfiniBand is what is used to interconnect all of the nodes, the G5 systems together. InfiniBand provides very high network bandwidth and very low latency, which is what allows us to couple together G5s into what is essentially finally a supercomputer. We hope to build a top 10 system and optimistically maybe top 5. Top 3 was definitely a surprise, a very pleasant one at that. This system represents a leap in supercomputing performance, supercomputing price and supercomputing manageability. What it has shown is at a price of 5.2 million dollars, practically anyone can build a system, a supercomputer, of a scale that's necessary for high-end computing research. Typically, systems that operate in the top 10 are a lot more expensive than our system. For instance, the system above us is about 30% faster than us, but it costs $215 million. The top machine in the world is a lot faster than us, three and a half times faster than us. But that machine costs $350 million. Virginia Tech has aspirations to join the top 30 research universities in the United States. And this is one of those sort of spires that one can build that will be visible from afar. So we're very proud. We're number three. Um, we're above 10 teraflops. And uh, we're the first academic machine to break the 10 teraflop barrier. Personally, it is still sinking in. It's been months of very hard work, 14, 16, 18 hour days, uh, basically sleeping in the lab uh, to get it done. Um, it's slowly starting to sink in that we actually have accomplished what we set out to accomplish. Feels nice.